Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. I hope you're all doing well today. Before we get going, I just want to wish a few friends happy birthdays. Nordstad P in Hanover, Germany, happy birthday to you. David S, uh, I think in California, USA, but I'm not sure. Happy birthday to you wherever you are. Angie R in Mission, British Columbia, Canada, happy birthday to you. Brett T, I think still in Kamloops, British Columbia, Canada, happy birthday to you. Hello. <laughs> uh, Mike S here in Kamloops, BC, happy birthday to you. And Aaron C in Kamloops, BC, happy birthday to you. A few birthdays today. That's good. That's nice. I like spreading that birthday cheer. Hopefully the people <laughs> that, that I'm wishing the happy birthdays to appreciate it too. I know some people don't like their, uh, their birthdays just to, you know, be acknowledged, but I guess if it's, if you don't want it acknowledged, then you won't have it listed on Facebook. So I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of my thought pattern there is that if you didn't want me to say it, if you didn't want people to know it, it wouldn't be listed. <laughs> so anyways, happy un happy unbirthday to the rest of us. Um, let's just have a great day regardless of whether it's your birthday or not. You can have a, a good day any day of the year. Um, it's also Tincture Tuesday today. Happy Tincture Tuesday. Did I just shake the camera? It's hard to tell. <laughs> Shook the um, workbench, I'm leaning on that. But anyways, um, yeah, it's Tincture Tuesday today, and uh, I've got another tincture to review today. Actually, to be honest, there's not a whole lot of different tinctures left to review here. <laughs> we kind of powered through a lot of them in a hurry there, and I think there's one other one left to review here. And then I guess we'll be doing, I don't know, something different for Tincture Tuesdays. I'm not really sure, but we'll figure that out. I'm accepting ideas as well. I'm always accepting ideas, suggestions, you know, more of this, less of this, whatever. I won't necessarily do exa exactly what is suggested or asked, but I like to take it into consideration. So anyways, let's review some tincture. We've got another one from Andy at Goot Juice Hot Sauce. This is Tink Finger. Now I've reviewed this this tincture before but it was a different a different vintage a different i think a different recipe i think definitely a different recipe um last year's i was pointing at the bottle there it looked like i was pointing at you but this <laughs> last year's uh tink finger had i think only like three different peppers in it or something like that this one's got quite a few different peppers i got them listed here Actually, I asked Andy, I sent him a message and he got back to me. Luckily, well, not luckily, it's, uh, he got back to me in good time, but I was taking my time getting ready for things today and hadn't really got much accomplished at all. So I didn't have the information yet. I was still not waiting on a text back, but I had sent a message to him. And then today he sent me a nice informative message about what's in this, as well as We'll get to it, we'll get to it actually, we'll get to this other stuff. Um, <laughs> here's what's in this tincture. This tink finger has Carolina Reaper, Trinidad Scorpion, Seven Pot Brain Strain, Seven Pot Barakpor, Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpions, Ghost Peppers, a few Kangstar Lemon Starburst, and a few Caribbean Hot Pepper uh, Powders. Those are the powders that are in here. Um, de dehydrated pods, ground up, and then mixed in here. Uh, soaked for 255 days, <clears throat> pardon me, in grain alcohol, like a high grade, high proof grain alcohol. Um, he did not let this one evaporate like he did with last year's, I guess. So when you let it evaporate, it becomes quite a bit more concentrated, darker, more potent. Um, you can see here, actually there is a little capsaicin bubble floating around in the bottom there. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, there it is. You can see it, the little capsaicin bubble there. But look at how beautifully clear this tincture is. That really is a really nice looking tincture. We'll give it a shaky shake because don't want to get that huge <laughs> drop of capsaicin in one. Imagine if you got that entire drop in one drop. That'd be pretty wild. That's just what they do. They separate like that 
quite quickly, actually, sometimes. Yeah. You can see now that bubble is completely gone now. Very nice. So, I like this too. Andy even puts a little um, shrink wrap on these. Not a lot of people do that. It's a nice touch. It just makes it feel more professional, more official, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to talk about this before we get further into this review, actually. Um, and I haven't rehearsed this or thought about it too much. I don't know how actually to approach this, but I just want to talk to you a little bit about Andy and Good Juice. Um, I know that he, he offends a lot of people with his videos. We, we know that. That's not an opinion. That's, you know, that's just how it is, I guess. But um, he's also a really, really nice guy. Um, to be honest, I, I watched his video yesterday and I did not really like it at all. I don't, I don't like the, the negative name calling. I don't like, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how, how to put this. I'm not trash talking Andy at all here, but I'm just telling you that I, I go to his channel for certain things, for information on this kind of stuff. He is a wonderful friend to me. He really is. Um, and I'm kind of getting to that. I watched his video yesterday and I kind of had a bad taste in my mouth. I'll be honest with you. I did not, it didn't sit well with me. And I was a little bit torn because I had already planned on reviewing this today. Now, I, I try to be the, the most positive that I can in my day-to-day -day life. So as I review this, then I'm going to give a shout out. I, I, I am going to give a shout out to the person that made this product. And I have felt a little bit strange about that because in yesterday's video, he's talking negatively about some of my friends and that it's kind of upsetting. It's very upsetting. Actually. I don't like, I don't like that stuff. Um, and that's, you know, I'm not, t I'm not saying, I'm not telling him what to do because Everybody has their channels and we can do what we want with them. I, I, I might not agree with some of it. I might not agree with any of it. I might agree with all of it. You never know, right? But, um... I didn't like that video yesterday. That's just my opinion. Um, I believe he had some information on creating tincture as well, but then there was a, a talk about, you know, drama stuff that I don't want to get involved with. I try to be friends with everybody. And so now... Am I, I, am I supposed to still review this and give a shout out to the person that's talking negatively about, you know, some of my best friends, for sure. Like, I, I love these people, but I love Andy. Then this morning, I get a message from Andy. Sorry that I didn't get back to you about the tincture. Um, he was busy doing things. He hasn't been feeling well either. And then he was just wanted, he sent me a message saying, thank you so much for your positivity in your videos. Um, he's saying that he can see when I'm having a tough day. He wishes he could just snap his fingers and make it all better. He's saying how much he loves my flight simulator videos. That's so cool. I, that's just so, honestly, he's never, never once been negative to me at all in a message. He's always been supportive of me, friendly, compassionate, caring. I love that. It's awesome. And I, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying, hey, you should only be positive. And I'm not saying that by any means. Everybody has all sorts of different emotions. But uh, I just, what I'm getting at is that I wasn't sure how to do this review today. Because I didn't want to give a shout out to a, a, a negative channel. But you know what? A Andy, that makes this stuff. Um, Andy as a human being. I love you, man. You are awesome. The way that you treat me is awesome. You are so supportive of me. And it's the social media stuff. It's the, you know, the, the YouTube videos a lot of times are not my thing on your channel. Fair enough. You know, some of my friends make also, you know, all sorts of different videos that I'm not into for various reasons, you know, 
live stream gaming of um, war games and like, you know, killing zombies and stuff. It's like, that's not really my thing either. Um, there's just all sorts of different things on YouTube. And just because somebody makes a certain type of video, that doesn't mean that that defines them as a person. Just like these videos don't define me as a person. You talk to me behind the scenes, you'll mostly see that I'm the same person. I'm maybe a little bit weirder, make strange noises to myself, you know, I'm strange. Um, I have all sorts of emotions too, um, all sorts of mental issues. But anyways, um, thank you so much for the support, Andy. I know that this video will get dislikes because I'm reviewing this product. That's fine. I don't really mind. I just hope that people don't think that I am supporting any of the negativity or anything other than these products. I'm supporting these products and the kind and compassionate man that I chat with. That's who I know. That's who I really... That's who I identify with. That's who I adore. So, thank you, Andy. Thank you, thank you for the all the positivity and all the... All the kind words and all the you've shared so much product with me here too. Thank you so much. So on that note, um hey, the capsaicin bubbles back. It's back in the corner there. That's hilarious. I guess we'll give it another shaky shake. That means I'm talking too much. <laughs> um let's do this. Yeah, straight into her. He said it's a more mild one this year. So, let's see what happens here. This is not a Robbie dropper. I just squeezed it really hard a couple of times and it's probably full right up to the plastic thing there. So it's, I don't know, half a Robbie. We're gonna do a little bit more because, just because, I don't know why. I just feel like it because he's been a good friend to me and apparently this stuff's a little bit more mild. So let's kick it up a notch. <laughs> um, this is Tink Finger from Andy at Goot Juice Hot Sauce. I'm gonna duck down a little bit low because the camera's angled funny. Keep my shorts. Happy Tincture Tuesday. Do your tincture. Get your tolerance up. It's hot. It's not bad. Tip of the tongue. The back of the throat. It's a nice mixture of pepper flavor in there. It's a lot going on. Ooh, it's creeping into the gums now. That's a neat feeling. So, I'll just sit with it a moment and see how it climbs. I'll tell you right now, actually, um, my heat is probably at a, I think that put me, puts me to a five or six out of 10. It was hotter than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> hiccup, a hiccup, that's not even fake. I just had a hiccup, that's hilarious. Whoa! That's the first time this has ever happened. Like, actual hiccup. Waiting for another one. Maybe? No, maybe just the two. That's pretty cool though. That's, I think that's the first time I've, I've had little burps that are kind of hiccupy, but those were hiccups. Six out of 10 for my heat, heat scale. My tolerance is down. I have not been pushing it like I usually do. That's probably why I got the hiccups there. Hmm. Almost felt like I was going to get another one there. Yeah, that got me good and lit up there. I'm impressed. 
6 out of 10. That's my final answer. My shorts heat. Have a narrow head would probably call that. That amount. Eight, probably. If you're new or sensitive to spice, you're at jalapeno level. That'll be a nine or a 10 out of 10. Is that a tear or sweat? I can't tell. Flavor on that. Um, it's a more diverse flavor than last year's. A lot of different types of flavors. The bitter, the earthy, the sweet, the floral is kind of all in there. Whereas last year it was all super hot. I think there was two or three peppers in last year's. It was very like reaper pepper forward you could say. Um, decent. I'm showing it to you. I am. Yeah, look at that. What's this right here? 190 proof grain alcohol. Um, did I give you a flavor rating yet? I don't remember. I don't think I did. I just talked about the flavor. I think I'd give this an 8 out of 10 for flavor. And that's on the tincture flavor scale kind of a thing. You know, um, hard candy's gonna rank differently on a flavor scale than a super hot pepper tincture. Would I recommend Andy's new version of Tink Finger? Yeah, if you want a good, you know, pretty hot tincture. It's not ridiculously hot, but it's it's got some heat to it for sure. I recommend it. A lot of, it's kind of burning all over the mouth now, I should say that. Um, all over the mouth, the gums, the roof of the mouth, the tongue, front to back, the throat. Not down to the stomach yet. I did have a couple pieces of toast before this. It's like one o'clock or something. I was actually supposed to hang out with a friend today at one o'clock. I failed miserably at that um, deadline, unfortunately. I'm not very good at managing my time. But anyways, oh hi doggy. Um, would I recommend it? Yes. Would I restock it? Yeah, I would. Um, I'm actually just about out of his last year's batch. So this showed up at a really awesome time. I'm glad that I have this. Thank you very much, Andy. Um, not much else to talk about here. I'm gonna wrap the video up and get it uploaded. Oh yeah, well, have a little hang out with Maggie. Oh, you're pouting. Are you pouting? Hey, uh, come here, boo-boo. Yeah, yeah. Are you a good girl? Yeah, that, that was hot. That caught me off guard. My tolerance must be down if you're saying it's not very hot this year. Excuse me. <laughs> mm, that tasted like peppers. Are you a good girl? Have a high five. Have a high five. Pound it. Good girl. Wow. What a good girl. Here you go. There you go. Good girl. Yeah. Well, shoulder check the cabinet. I won. Just kidding, it did. Um, yeah, let's wrap this video up. Once again, thank you very much, Andy. I love the label on this too. That's his son, Lennon. It's an awesome label. Um, we'll wrap this video up here. In this corner, You'll see our Heat My Shorts logo, make sure you click that. Click subscribe if you haven't already. In this corner, Andy's channel, Goot Juice Hot Sauce. Um, you don't necessarily want to bring your kids over to that channel, but it might be for you. Um, there's a lot of good information on making pepper tinctures. A lot of other stuff too that, like I said, I don't necessarily agree with some of the stuff that's said there, but I really adore this guy. Whoa, you scared me. Um, okay. Somebody walked by outside. Oh. Hey, Maggie, that's enough. Oh. Maggie, come here. Sorry about that. Let's do that again. In this corner, eat my shorts. In this corner, goot juice hot sauce. Up here, some playlists for you to enjoy. 
Have a great day, everyone. I love you all. We'll hang out again soon, I promise. This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie the Barky Dog and Steve. Love you. Bye-bye.